Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, your excellencies, distinguished guests, colleagues, friends, welcome to Connect for Climate. Welcome to right here, right now. On behalf of the World Bank Group, it gives me enormous pleasure to have you all here with us for what will be an exciting, informative, if you needed to be informed, and definitely an inspirational evening. We're soon going to hear directly from my boss, World Bank Group President Jim Kim. But first, I want to say a little bit about what tonight is all about and acknowledge the presence today of some of the people that made it possible. First, she needs so little introduction, but we are truly honoured to have Nobel Peace Prize laureate Betty Williams with us here tonight. She demonstrated the power of individual action when in 1976 she co-founded the Community of Peace People, an organisation dedicated to promoting a peaceful resolution to the violence in Northern Ireland. She's also one of the founders of the Nobel Women's Initiative. Minister Corrado Clini is here, the Italian Minister of Environment. Thank you. Not only because of his ministerial post, but because of his personal conviction, he has backed Connect for Climate, and he's a very big reason why we're here today. We're also, I have to say, and I'm very excited about this, to be here in the presence of Malian singer, songwriter, and guitarist, Rokia Traore. As you will inspire us tonight, so we will be with your people and your country. Thank you for being here. Fresh off the plane from Nairobi, the Kenyan rap group TS1. In 2011, you'll remember that TS1's video, Me and My Bike, won the first prize in the video category of Connect for Climate's first photo video competition for African youth. Dixon, Gilbert, Francis and Mary are all here tonight, and you're going to hear a lot more from them later. And then Izzy Lawrence, MTV presenter and international DJ, is here. Thank you, Izzy, for coming. Now, for those of you who didn't know, Izzy was the DJ at the 2012 Grammy Awards after party, and so you know you need to hang around. So there are many others here, members of the diplomatic corps, policy makers, those of you in the NGO community, think tanks, academics, a few economists here from the World Bank itself, but there are a lot of young people here tonight, and I want to especially thank you for being here. I want to thank you for being here physically, and for those who are following online, through web stream, through Facebook, Twitter, and everything else, please watch, please be with us, we're certainly with you. Ladies and gentlemen, at the launch of Voices for Climate with MTV last June at the museum, we were hoping that this latest competition would engage and would really amplify the voices of youth who are concerned about the impact to their lives of climate change today. Tonight, I think we can really say it truly has. We got 1,000 entries from 116 countries. Fantastic videos, photos, music, videos, and podcasts. You, those who entered, young people, have shown that you are not lacking in the creativity and the commitment needed to spur people to action. In fact, if leaders around the world today had half of your creativity and commitment, we could promise action this decade at the level in which we really need it. But tonight, Connect for Climate and TVN Media Group, in partnership with leading media networks and academic institutions, are launching iChange, a new global competition for the best original video clip that addresses climate change issues and action. Students from universities worldwide are invited to participate. And Donald Ramvo, chair of the jury, producer of no notable films such as City of God, The Constant Gardener and Farewell My Concubine is also with us tonight. Donald, thank you for your time and thank you for your inspiration. Jim Kim, President of the World Bank Group, is going to talk to you about our vision of action necessary uh, around climate change. All I want to say is that the evidence is in front of our eyes. The science is clear. The facts are known. What we have to do is find a way to connect so that we act and that we act now. It won't be possible without all of us. 
It won't be possible without all of us supporting young people today to take action and to demand action from others. It is the future that we are talking about as well as today, and it obliges each and every one of us to step up to the challenge. We have to ask ourselves, what am I prepared to do? We have to be focused, we have to be disciplined on the most important things that need to be done. And so on that note, please let me hand over to our Master of Ceremonies this evening, John Ratz, founder of GATE, the Global Alliance for Transformational Entertainment, the head of the pioneering marketing and PR firm, The Visionary Group, and an accomplished musician in his own right. John, the floor is yours. Thank you for being here. Let's just have fun and connect. Thank you.